Hello my hungry friends! Welcome to Polish Your Kitchen. Today we're preparing a delicious Polish split pea soup. Grochówka. Hello my hungry friends! Today we're making Polish split pea soup. Zupa grochowa. For my soup today I'm using yellow split peas. But you can you you can use green green peas also if you want. I prefer yellow because I think they're a little bit sweeter. Uh, and if you do use green, you'll find out what color green tastes like. <laughs> okay, so to get this going, uh, this is a very hearty uh, fall soup that is gonna stick to your bones. You like my cup? I've cre our uh, our creative team has come up with some new designs, and by a creative team, I mean myself and my husband. Mm -hmm. And new PYK Polish Your Kitchen design cups are available in my merch store, PolishYourKitchen.com. Top of the menu merch store, and we've also come up with this beautiful masculine design. Polish your kitchen for all those guys who don't like flowers. So let's get to our soup. We are going to need about a couple of cups of just regular dried split peas. And I like to wash mine a little bit. And sometimes you may find some, some darker peas or maybe some impurities in them so just kind of look through them and I don't actually see any in oh there's one so just kind of move them around and if you see any that you don't like just kind of pick them out but we don't have to worry too much about any of that because they're gonna boil to nothing meaning they're gonna be creamed split peas. So I'll just give these a rinse. Okay, just a quick rinse. They they will foam up a little bit while you're washing them. Uh, but that's okay. And you may find a little bit more of these little guys kind of come up. But no big deal. And our peas are going to go straight into our, our pot. And I have this heating already. And then we're going to add eight cups or two liters of broth. I'm using vegetable broth today. You can do um, chicken or, or vegetable, I guess that's that's uh, would be the best. And I'm just going to pour that in here. And peas have to boil for about 35, 45 minutes. Um, so we're gonna let these go for about 35 and then we're gonna add potatoes. So I'm gonna just cover these. I'm not adding any salt because there's salt in the stock. So once everything kind of combines, I'm gonna taste it and then decide whether I wanna add more salt or not. Uh, to it, we could add our trio, <laughs> the, help me here bay leaves and allspice berries and peppercorns but this stock is already pretty flavorful so I'm not going to today. I need a little bit of water. So while that's going uh, I'm gonna prepare the rest of our ingredients. I have some uh, beautiful smoked sausage we're gonna need uh, a piece of smoked meat. So you could go I'm my dad and I made this one. It's really nice and smoky. We smoked it in his garden. So I know this one's really nice and smoky. If you can't get a good smoked sausage, uh, buy some good quality smoked bacon. Uh, and I just, if I'm using bacon, I just put the whole thing in a pot. If I'm using sausage, I like to slice it because then it'll be a part of the soup in what we're eating. You could also do smoked turkey, 
or if you have leftover pork ribs, those will work great too. And they would be already cooked. I would just cut them into either one or two rib pieces and just put them in with our split peas while they're um, cooking. So I'm just gonna slice my sausage into pretty thin slices and throw them in with the, the peas. And so the fat from the sausage, although this is not a very fatty sausage, you can, as you can see, there's not, there's some pieces of um, garlic you can see here. But whatever fat there's in here is going to melt into our soup and is going to give us more flavor and all these components just give more flavor so um, as i said this is a great leftover uh, leftover turkey or leftover ham soup uh, too if you're cooking a ham for thanksgiving and as as we know there's always leftover from that can just kind of cut the ham into smaller pieces and throw it in here as I'm doing the sausage. You could also do your ham bone. You never know what to do with that and it's a great base for, for soup. So my smoky sausage goes in and we're gonna let this let this be for a while and while that's um, getting ready. I have six potatoes here. They just have been peeled. And so I'm gonna slice these into cubes. And they will go into our soup. And I kind of like to keep the cube kind of big. Kind of bite size. And then if you get a piece of sausage and a piece of uh, potato and a, and a piece of carrot it kind of makes a nice nice party together so have you ever heard of grochówka being uh, an army soup have I? yes no so in Poland there is a term of grochówka żołnierska which means um, Soldiers grochówka, soldiers uh, split pea soup, <laughs> because it's a soup that they often were served out in the field. Makes sense. Nice hearty soup, meat and taters. Well, and all of it's kind of shelf stable. All of it's dried peas. You just boil potatoes, shelf stable. And sausage and just sausage. to pull out of your pocket and yeah. throw it in the soup. So that's shelf stable too. If it's smoked long enough, it's pretty shelf stable. Speaking of shelf stable sausage, if you go to a grocery store in Poland, you'll see uh, smoked sausages, either those thin kind of kabanosy uh, or dried smoked sausage, unrefrigerated, just sitting on the shelf. Have you noticed that? Yep. So don't get freaked out about smoked sausage. Although in America, I don't know how that goes. Food processing is a little bit different, I guess. So yeah, if you see, if you're ever in Poland and you see grochówka <laughs> żołnierska, that's just, uh, just they're having fun with, <laughs> with uh, the soldiers getting the soup. And if you've ever been in the Polish army, you'll see you will know that you've spent a lot of time peeling the potatoes and, <laughs> and slicing carrots. So these I'm just doing a kind of a thick, thicker cut on this. And maybe I'll slice this in half.
We have our ingredients ready. We're going to give our uh, split peas about 35 minutes and then we will add our veggies. So we'll see you back in a little bit. Our soup has been cooking for about 30 minutes, 30, 35 minutes. And it is a smoky sauce. I can smell the, uh, smell the smell. I can smell the sausage in the air. And as you can see, the split peas, some of them are still a little solid, but I just tasted it and they are starting to break up. So they need a little bit more cooking, but uh, when we add our carrots and potatoes, they're gonna need a little bit more time to cook anyway. So the split peas will come to a point where they just break down and create a smooth kind of creamy soup. So I have this carrot that I cut up earlier and I'm gonna add it to the soup. And the carrot is gonna give us nice color because the soup is kind of bland, bland looking. I mean, it's yellow obviously, uh, but this will give us nice color too. So and here go the potatoes. Yeah. You will see that this is slowly becoming uh, like a stew. And this is where hungry soldiers will benefit from eating this gorgeous thick soup. So our potatoes will need, uh, I'd say probably another 15, 20 minutes. So set that clock and let it go. We'll see you back in a little bit. Soup has been cooking for 35 minutes. We added potatoes and carrots in another about 13, 15 minutes. I have it back in, on my stove here just bubbling, but there's one last step we have to do. And I have my small pan heating and I'm gonna slice my onion. And this is just gonna be another layer of flavor that we're gonna add to the top of the soup. It's already nice and flavorful. I tasted it. It's, it's looking great. Um, there's nice smokiness to it. <clears throat> we have the potatoes in there and this is just last step. So I'm gonna take about two tablespoons of butter and throw the onion onto it. And we're gonna give this a little fun Marjoram. This is Poland's, one of Poland's favorite flavors, marjoram. And I'm adding it to butter so it kind of activates a little bit and it's a little bit more fragrant. Dried marjoram, ooh, that onion. Dried marjoram can get a little, not stale, just, um, what's the word? Dry. <laughs> yes, dry, but it, I guess anti-fragrant anti loses a little, little bit of the flavor when it's just sitting in a jar. So when if we give it a um, little heat with the butter, it'll wake it up a little bit and it'll give us a little bit more from, it'll provide more layers. And just a couple of minutes, we're going to bring the soup over here and show ya how gorgeous it's looking. And in the meantime, I just wanna say thanks to all my friends, hungry friends, who have been buying our merch and supporting our channel through PayPal. We are very much appreciated. We very much appreciate your support. We're here for you. We wanna create this free content and free entertainment for you. So if you'd like to donate, you can do so. There's a link underneath this video. And if you want to buy some merch, head over to my merch store and check out the t-shirts and check out the aprons. Christmas is coming. I always say I'm going to stop shopping, uh, start shopping early for Christmas presents. Do I ever? No. I also have this book that I published last year. Polish Your Kitchen, a book of memories, Christmas edition. 
And there's it's a small book. You can buy it on Amazon around the world. It's uh, about 30 recipes of food that my family uh, has prepared and served for Christmas. Um, there's some main dishes, some side dishes, and some delicious desserts, including uh, poppy seed cake and including uh, blood soup. So check it out. Also link below in the description. Buy yourself a copy, buy your friends copies, and be done with Christmas shopping. Follow, like, and subscribe. Follow, like, and subscribe. And hit the little bell on the thing, and it helps you remind you that the new content has been put out by PYK. And what he means by hit the little bell mm -hmm. <laughs> means if you're on YouTube, if you subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell next to it, and it'll tell you what to do next time. Listen. Yes, but I say it better. <laughs> Look at the soup. If this is not a meal altogether, I don't know what it is. My uh, peas, you can see them a uh, little solid still in here, but they're cooked. I tasted the soup and they're, they're soft. So they will, um, some of them will break up and it may be creamier uh, than other. But this is fine, it's cooked. I'm not worried about it. It's not gonna be crunchy in my, in my mouth. So last but not least, please don't skip this step. Uh, our sautéed onion with marjoram goes in. I'm going to give this last stir. This is off. And look how gorgeous it looks. I'm going to give this a taste with my spoon. Mm. It's smoky. You gotta get something smoked in the soup. It's perfect. You got the smoky from the sausage, and it's just gorgeous Polish, Polish meal. I hope you make it for your family soon. They'll love you for it. Please subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Smachnego.